as you walk around a show like this, you'll inevitably see lots of invitations to look at new products, and quite often coupled with the name of a standard, like you need HEVC to do 4K. Is that actually true, or is that spin? There is a truism in our industry that the, uh, um, the adoption of technology cycles are getting longer. Um, but how true is that related to at a video codex? If you look at the CCTV arena, the adoption of H.264 as they picked up IP cameras, it's been going on for 10 years and it's still going. In that sense, H.264 is still picking up speed. So it's a bit of a myth to say that that technology has reached the, uh, reached the sunset. It's still in full midday, uh, midday sun and it's ready for 4K. What you do is you don't adopt a standard that is new and has got unknown costs and, uh, and, and obstacles like backward compatibility when you've already got a standard that has, has got backward compatibility and can do what you need to do with the 4K. And that's where H.264 is. It's got all of that written into the current standard using standard IP. So why would you risk changing when staying where you are can do what you want to do? That's the best way to protect yourself. Don't take risks. As you walk around the show, don't be uh, afraid to look at all of the technologies. Don't just focus on HEVC. In particular, make sure you've checked out what 264 can do. There are lots of profiles and levels that give you different performance levels, all the way up to nearly lossless for digital cinema. Check out what it can do with 4K and start by talking to Matrox. Ooh.